There's a lot of cheap trailers out there, and if you don't crawl underneath that trailer and look at exactly what you're getting, um, you could be what I call trailer blind. What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we have another trailer buying guide. Today we're going to tell you how you order a trailer online. Not just any trailer, but a Diamond C. Diamond C has been around for many years, you guys. They are known in the industry as building the echelon, the top notch, the top bar of trailers. Not knocking any other trailer company because everybody makes a pretty good trailer, but if you want the best of the best, it's usually a Diamond C. So we went ahead, went online, and built the LPX series trailer, which is what I'm going to show you today. This is a 22 foot LPX Diamond C trailer, right? It's a dual axle 14,000 pound trailer. It was custom built. I went on their website. Basically, you can go through. First thing is, is how long do you want it? What model? How heavy a duty axles do you want? The next step is to go in and start configuring your options. You can configure this from where your D rings go, what kind of hitch you want on it, all that. I'll tell you what we did. All right, let's get into it. Demco latch on the front. To me, I like Demco's, they're the best, they're easiest. You just basically pull this black latch here, it unlocks, you can keep it latched. When you look it up, it just claps in and you're done, right? Another thing I like about the LPX is this big front area here. Look, most trailers have just a bar here and it stops and this is an open frame with your toolbox, right? Well, we do have the toolbox, you just can't see it. So if we open up here, there's my toolbox, you guys. All the space that's in that toolbox is just beyond my other trailer so much that I was able to put a spare tire in there. Now, we're gonna get to the spare tire in a second because there's something I wanna talk to you about that. But look at all that space in there. Stanley the Dirt Monkey, if you go over to his channel, he actually laid in his, closed it up, and you couldn't even see him. What's so good about this? A few things. A, nobody knows it's there, so chances of someone breaking into it is slim to none, right? B, it has tie downs, so you can put your lighter loads up here. Something that's not gonna fit, a small attachment, stump grinder or something, will fit up here and you can put it up there. That's what I love about this trailer. I think that's the signature thing of this trailer. Right here is your spare tire uh, holder. I actually added this, but this is one thing I wish I never added, only because my spare tire fits in there. I'm in the Chicago area. I know someone's gonna try to sneak my tire, probably be the first thing to go. So when I did put it on, when I picked it up, I didn't like that I couldn't see this end of the trailer here. All I saw was the tire. So I ended up just throwing it in there, locking it in there. So just in my mind, next time I just wouldn't order that. You might want to order that if you want all the space up front. If you want all the space up front, go ahead and order it. It's definitely a great thing to have. Going down, we ordered eight D-rings. These are the D-rings. You can tell them how many you want, where you want to put them. Uh, I think eight's a pretty good one. Each point of the trailer and then a few midway down. Uh, you can also use the rub rails. Now you can get this trailer, again, customized without rub rails. You can make the deck come out wider, anything you want. You can go with the extra heavy duty fenders, which is what we did here. The reason I went with the heavy duty fenders is my last few trailers, I've just been bashing them up. They've just been smashed up, banged into things, and you know, they just don't last. These welded on, tough. I mean, I could drive a tank over these, right? It's got the two axles on it. You can also get the option of getting the torsion axles, right? I went with just your typical leaf spring axles. I'm an old school guy. I kind of like that. Not knocking the torsion. The only thing I didn't like about the torsion is when one wheel goes up, the other one goes up also. So you have like two wheels, you know, I feel like it's more four wheel independent on the, the leaf spring setup. Plus if something ever happens down the road where I have to replace it, it's easy to replace. Another super cool feature, which I think is one of the greatest features is max ramps, you guys. Uh, you know, you either have ramps that go up, down, well, I mean, they all go up and down, but you, you know what I mean. I mean, these are three-way ramp. Basically, how they operate is, is we're going to show you the B-roll of it, but I could drive down the road with them up like this if I have a huge vehicle load or equipment load and I have to utilize this little area, this three or four feet, whatever's here, I could do that. Or if I have like a flat load of lumber, I could just put that down and then I have my whole flat load, right? Uh, personally, I don't know. I might start keeping them up just because I like to see the back of the trailer and where it's at. Uh, but I don't know. It's a, it's just, they're just really cool ramps. You don't have to worry about being on two little ramps coming down or up. It's a nice wide setup, right? So walk around with me this way. Another thing that this trailer does is this balances the load. 
too. So if right now I had something that weighed, I mean, obviously it's a 14,000 pound trailer. If I had something that weighed 9,000 pounds on here and I'm all the way to the back, it's not gonna pull the truck up because all the weight's gonna rest up here, right? This is gonna act as a solid base. It's like, a, you know, it's hitting the ground. Couple other really cool features that remember these are options that I ended up putting on the trailer right here You have two fork two places for forks so you could put your forklift right in there Let's say you're running a forklift you're running uh, a grapple all kinds of stuff on your tractor or whatnot You can just put your forks in the side here There's two little loops that you could tie it and your forks are solid on the trailer Another feature that they actually just came out with that you could actually put on your trailer is the winch setup. So this is the winch setup guys. Basically it's an entire winch that comes out like this. Locks into place on two sides and comes with a warrior. Uh, I think it's a 12,000 pound winch. Cool features about this winch are obviously the 12,000 pounds. The idea that it's tucked away and it also has a wireless remote control that comes with it. It's powered by a battery that's up in the, the frunk here. I'm gonna call it a frunk, like an electric car. The frunk, and the great thing is, is every time you plug it into your trailer, it's charging this winch battery. Not that you're gonna use it that much, but maybe you will. Maybe you're constantly wheeling old vehicles or pieces of equipment up here. That's gonna come in hugely handy. So, last thing that I opted for is something that you guys can't get yet, and I'm actually been a test bed for, so is this new decking. So if you look at this decking here, it's it's nothing it's not blackwood everybody thinks it's blackwood but it's actually a composite decking think of treks for like the deck this is like treks for trailers i mean obviously it's not the same composite or anything like that but it's designed to last have a grip and uh so far i've been really happy with it the biggest thing i could tell for this over wood is that it basically is non-slip you know, wood, you get a little bit of water on there, you're slipping. This is non-slip. I had ice on here, non-slip. So I'm just testing this deck out, but let's say, you know, I don't want this deck. Obviously, I could put the wood in there if I needed to, but I love this deck. All of this trailer was built online, you guys. You can go there, build out your, your uh, trailer, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is go contact your dealer. A dealer that we're recommending right now is Spencer Trailers right here. So Spencer Trailers, great guys to deal with down there. Give them a call, tell them Tools and Action sent you. They are one of the biggest Diamond C dealers in the nation and they have all kinds of features. And like I said, if you don't like what they have on a lot, you can just go ahead and order it on diamondc.com. You go on there, I mean, it's cool. How many guys are here go and play online with the cars? You know, you always build you know, your dream car, go build your dream trailer and then give them a call. It might be in your price range. You never know. So good stuff, you guys, from Diamond C. We're gonna have a lot more Diamond C stuff coming out on this trailer. And uh, I don't know, contact uh, Brian over at uh, Spencer Trailers, just good people. If you have any questions, you guys, comment below. What else do you want to see about this trailer? I'd be more to make, happy to make a video for you. Subscribe and like. Thank you. Your keys are hanging from the hook right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm right there. Of course, it locks. Got it. And uh, I'll probably take those just yeah, in case. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, in case they fall. Well, fall through a hole. That yeah, that bad. would suck. So you've got the battery in here that runs the winch, I noticed, and you have the off and on valve. Oh, here. nice. You cut the power. Yeah. To I noticed that was there. Um, this is James from Spencer Trailers. You guys are known in Indiana to have the best selection of trailers, correct? We are the biggest uh, Diamond C dealer in Indiana. What do you think of Diamond C? I think Diamond C is a great company. We've got a lot of innovations, always coming out with something new, stand behind our products. And when they are the type of company, when they see something needs to change, they change it. So they're always on top of it. And uh, they're always looking for the best. And that's what makes them exciting. And their stuff is so cool and it's built well. We really love Diamond C. Yeah, cool. So people go online, they can order this trailer online, put it together, and then they just send you the build sheet and you take it from there? That's pretty much accurate, yeah. Okay, so how long does it take to get a trailer built, uh, roughly, right in this now, day and age? depending on our lineup, because um, the way the trailers have been coming, it's about eight weeks. Eight if weeks. we already have that same line of trailer coming down the line, we can take one that we have in that slot and go ahead and build it out for the customer. Okay. And it's generally, as long as we have the, that model available, we can customize it to their needs and get it here in about eight weeks. Cool. So, I mean, we can paint them, we can add D-rings, all kinds of stuff, sure. right? Yep. So Change the colors, add D-rings, you know, add spare, take spare off, add the tongue, toolbox, take that off. 
Um, yeah, just about anything you want. If you want max ramps on the back, we can do max ramps. We can do heavy duty ramps. Wow. We can change your tires in and out. We can do your torsion axles. Everything. Axles. And I could upgrade through you guys if I wanted a new jack or something yep, like we that. Can, we can do, yep, we could do uh, hydraulic jacks if you want a hydraulic jack, which is awesome. Um, yeah, we got all sorts of stuff, two speeds. So all we got to do now is just get you over here, set up your hitch height, make sure we tighten that down, get you legally hooked up the correct way, uh, get your tag on the back, check your lights out, send you on your way. Cool. Now, what would you tell the people that are doing their first trailer experience? Like, what's a, is there any good tips or anything when they're looking for trailers or anything like that? Yeah, uh, there's, my biggest tip is price is not always the most important thing. Because okay. there's a lot of cheap trailers out there, and if you don't crawl underneath that trailer and look at exactly what you're getting, um, you could be what I call trailer blind. Trailers blind is when you don't know anything about a trailer, and the best thing to do is to get your hands on it, look at the cross members underneath it, look at the axle setup, look at the metal, the thickness of the metal, fill it. I mean, you can literally fill when something is just not enough for the money. Okay. And uh, one thing about Diamond C, they give a lot. I mean, they are a little higher priced trailers, but they're giving you something for it. Right. Like we were talking earlier, other trailers are like the Hondas of trailers. This is the Cadillac, the Lexus of trailers. This You're is, getting all the features, the HD Lexus, yes. you know, the top of the and line. And when you compare when you compare the price of a Diamond C and what you're getting to something else equal value or equal build, the Diamond C is probably going to be the better price anyhow. Plus, over time, you guys take trailers in on trade, right? Absolutely. Did it, yep. Diamond C's hold their value a little they better? Do. Okay. Super well. Yep. Diamond C holds their value very well. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah, that's something to note, too. It's like a Toyota, in a sense. Yeah. Right. You know, they hold their value. And yeah. so does a Diamond C. And uh, I'm always excited when we get a Diamond C back in here. Someone's wanting to trade it. I'm like, oh, yeah, we need that. Yeah. I always get excited about that. So, yeah, I think it's the best way to go. I honestly do. That's cool. Cool. And you guys have dumps, flatbeds, landscape trailers, the whole oh, yeah. shebang. Yeah. Um, there are a few trailers that we're not able to get at this time due to the whole pandemic you know, thing. Pandemic right. It's cause a lot of hiccups. But for the most part, we can get you a diamond seat in a lot of different configurations. And we we do have other uh, vendors we use for certain applications. If we don't have a diamond seat, we'll still find you the best trailer we can in another brand and we're, all, and we're picky about our brands yeah. we look very closely at these things because we have to stand behind what they build can you do like dealer trades like cars or no they don't do that um like I'm if, not you, if the that... trailer you want's on another lot of some other business oh um you know usually it's it's better just to go to that dealership and have that experience there right than right. us to try to get it out from them gotcha only because there's so much more logistics and money and paperwork just that. yeah it is it's possible we just haven't got into that mainly because we have more than everyone else right so it's really seldom that we would need something from someone else all right cool so all right so now we're going to go ahead and you're going to adjust it to my truck and that's yep. it we're on our way yep i'll get the tractor and we'll get it over in front of the garage where we set up and send you out and that's what we call the launch pad so we'll get you on the launch pad cool sweet and then james if they need to get a hold of you trailer questions anything like that yep. how you can call me if you want 812-829-0226 i'm james there's uh three or four other guys in here too gary brian bryce um and james we're pretty much the ones you want to talk to if you want to order or get something done we're the ones to call all right cool perfect let's do it all right all right